What is happening? Guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome. If you're thinking about moving to Reno, relocating for whatever purpose, right? You're kind of doing your due diligence right now. You're doing your research. You're checking out neighborhoods. Uh, and you're curious why some neighborhoods are 800,000 to break into, why some neighborhoods are 300,000 to break into. Um, and you just don't know why. You just don't have yeah. the, the knowledge because you, you aren't from here and you just don't know. Yeah, that's what we're here to help with. That's where we come in. Um, that's exactly what we're covering in this video. We're going into a bunch of different developments, really doing a whole vlog tour. Yeah, this, of... this video is going to be a long one. We got seven uh, different places that we're going to talk about and give you just all the different info you need to know. It's going to be a good one, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Joe Hannick. Ryan Chickvara. This is Ryan Chickvara, and we're doing all things Reno. If you guys, yes, you guys already have, you know, if, if you're already subscribed, you you know what we do. If this is your first time to the channel. You got to hit that subscribe button. You got to tap that little bell. We are doing all things living in Reno. What it's like to live here, eat here, sleep here, play here. Today's a good video. We got, a, we got the, uh, the the neighborhood, the suburb type video going. We, today, so. we are doing the full vlog tour, guys, and we're actually hitting these different neighborhoods. Um, so it's not just going to be us in front of a screen. You've got these great backdrops. Um, we're going in depth, but we're kind of keeping um, just a couple things covered in each yeah, video. Yeah, we're going over schools. We know that's important to families. So we're going over schools. We're going over market uh, price points, all that sort of thing. For real estate, yep. What we love about the different neighborhoods what exactly to do what's where how close are you to the, california how yep. close are you to tahoe how close are you it's the entertainment whether you're next to the aces baseball stadium whether you're right on the california border how quickly you can get to tahoe um we've got a splash pad we talk airplanes we and talk yeah we talk everything but keep in mind this is a long video yeah. and we know that so if there is a neighborhood that you're specifically interested in, um, there's a good chance that we covered it. And so we are going to include in the description kind of timestamps. So yeah, uh, in the description below, take a look. We'll let you know when we're hitting that, uh, that kind of neighborhood at the, uh, the time. That way you can kind of go through. But this is going to be a good one, guys. So again, we're covering all thing Reno, Nevada. Stay tuned. Yes, stay tuned. All right, guys, we decided to take our first stop. We are up in Arrow Creek at the moment. Obviously, the views are spectacular. I'm not talking about Ryan and I, but we are here um, and wanted to just go over our full tour of um, all the Reno area. Yeah, so we're deciding kind of to different suburbs and different areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to be starting here in Arrow Creek. Southwest um, Reno. Yeah, Southwest Reno, South Reno. Uh, just, we're going to get into it. A couple reasons why so many people love to uh, to move to this area. Very family friendly. Uh, it is extremely secure. So they do have um, a gate, you know, guard security 24-7. Yep, sort of one of those one way in, one way out type things. Yep. So. Um, and then obviously um, the views are just spectacular. You've got all of South Reno here. All the way up to all downtown the, looks real little from this far away. All of downtown, really a little bit of everything. Yeah. All right, hit us off, Ryan. Yeah, so first we kind of want to touch on the schools around this, this area. Uh, Galena is going to be the closest high school um, just down the road, about five to ten minutes. Um, and we've touched on that in a prior video. It's a four-star high school. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely one of the best high schools in all of Reno. Yeah. I think it's up there, right, with uh, um, Reno High. Reno's a five-star, McQueen's a four. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's the top five high school in all of. Yeah. Um, also, just closest proximity, really, for as far as neighborhoods go, to uh, Bishop Minogue, which is about 10 minutes away as well. That's a private high school. Um, Joe looked into that a little bit. It's right in the area of... 12,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's still, I mean, as far as it being a, a private school, private high school, it's about 12,000 um, a year. So yes, private, still super affordable. Um, there's also a private middle school 
Yeah, and that, that is brand new. Yes, brand new right in the area. Um, price point around there, right around $5,000, um, again, per kid. So it's not terrible. If that's the route that you're looking for, that's kind of uh, what's, you know, South Reno. Yeah. yeah, well, and then just down the road, though, same thing. We passed that on the way in uh, the elementary school, and that's not private. Um, yes, and still. And that is one of the top elementary schools yeah. in all of uh, Reno. So. so there's a no-brainer why so many people are moving to this area. Um, price point-wise, four homes. You're going to be spending a little bit of money. Yeah. Right? We are looking. Um, I've looked at vacant lots uh, for quite a few clients, and we're looking right around a quarter, right? 250000 to build. Um, there's minimum criteria, minimum 2,500 square foot, you know, so we're looking at multi-million dollar homes in here. Not saying you can't find something under a million. Yeah, there's definitely, as we, we just did the drive through and there's, there's tons of places that are definitely affordable and in, in your more normal homes. And then there are some absolute behemoths some things that you're like, that we, we drove by one that had a, a living room that looked like it had 25 windows on it, so. Exactly, so if you've got a family of 20, sure it made <laughs> yeah, sense. You know where to go. But we've also got, right, some single family, um, you know, again, 2,500 square foot homes that are a lot more affordable, but those are still gonna be right in that high eights um, to a million dollar range. Uh, what's awesome about this community is that you've got this walking path running trail throughout the entire community runs the whole way through um, just great views in general we're real close to the galena forest down here so as far as hiking goes you get a little bit more of um, the foresty feel a little bit more tahoe feel yeah. even though you're still in reno that's still right there yeah uh, not, we, ta not the tahoe hiking but the actual galena hiking does feel like tahoe yeah and we do or or i mean up in arrow creek they get a little bit more snow right yeah They're a couple hundred more feet up above um, then right there in the valley in South Reno, Damani Ranch area. Um, so you do, will get a little bit more snow, but it's, it's nothing crazy. Yeah. Um, and then as far as kind of amenities go, um, and just proximity to things, you're 10 minutes away from Summit Mall. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which has amazing outdoor mall, great shopping, great restaurants. Yeah. Lululemon, we've touched on it before. Yeah. Um, wild garlic pizza. Yeah. Uh, BJ's brewery awesome spot to uh Movie to bring theater, the family yeah good stuff so and uh, you're right there i mean close proximity um but really and one of the main you know main reasons why people are also moving up here is because the golf courses yeah right i mean especially up here in arrow creek yeah so this is a private course they have two courses up here um we got we got a pupper always in the video <laughs> yeah we always got somebody <laughs> Uh, that wants to chime in. We're famous now, I guess. So, you know, yeah, probably just saying hello. But we do have, uh, there are two private golf courses out here that uh, are both spectacular. Um, they are currently in phase one of redoing the clubhouse, which is uh, $30 million going into that. Brand new outdoor pool, amazing restaurant, amazing bar. Um, yeah, they have uh, full service, like... Um, it's great for like parties, weddings, and all that sort of stuff yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, spa? I don't. I don't believe they have a spa yeah. yet. I wouldn't be surprised if that's part of phase two. Might be phase two. But um, yeah, we just drove by that as well. Same thing. Clubhouse is looking uh, under construction, but looking amazing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. This is one of my favorite courses. It's a little bit tougher. Uh, it's definitely got that like desert canyony feel. So first time out here as a novice golfer, I probably lost. About 25 balls with my brother. Oh yeah, it's definitely had happening. Had to buy some at the turn, but you it's know. definitely happening all day. Yeah. Um, and then, as you can see, I just want to point out, got some golfers here. Um, we've got Galena Forest is literally just what it's south, yeah. southwest a little bit, kind of just over here, over the hill. Um, definitely some areas in there that are not, uh, you know, private. You don't have to be be members. Um, price point wise, it's a little less expensive. Um, but again, this is why so many families and people are moving into South Reno is. Yeah, I think our most recent check on Galena was about 880. Yeah. Um, median price there. Yeah. Those are all same thing, not private, but it's custom builds out there and stuff. So that's that's the resale on those right now. Yeah. And they they come they're few and far right there's so many people who want to get in so if you are interested in this area um, let us know and uh, we'll put this search together and start moving as quickly as you guys want.
we got anything else? I don't think so. On to the next one. Sweet. On to the next. So we have brought you to the Summit Mall. We're always talking about the Summit Mall and how great it is. So we decided to just take you here. Uh, proximity wise, we are about two minutes away from Damani Ranch. Yep, that's the one we want to feature here. We are just, yeah, we're in the heart of it. So um, as you can see, always discussing Lululemon. Um, there's great shops here. I know there's an Old Navy here. There's a sporting goods store. Uh, restaurant wise, Noble Pie is right over the way. Some of the best pizza in all of Reno. Voted best wings too, right? The best wings. Um, and they always have good local uh, brews, brews, local brews on tap as well. Uh, we might have had a couple too many before shooting this yeah. one. <laughs> Just joking. That's not until after the video. Yeah, it's early yet. But one of the uh, main reasons why we love Damani Ranch so much, um, a lot to do out here. And what do you like so much about her? What do you want to touch on? Oh, we got Miguel's Mexican food out here. You, that's a good stop as well. Yes, that um, is a go-to. Oh, BJ's Brewery, uh, another great family restaurant. Brew all their own beers inside. Um, and then they've got just that whole wall of TVs for sports. Yeah. Right? So if you're a sports fan, that's kind of the, uh, the place to go. Well, and then we do have... The, uh, the movie theater here at the summit is pretty fantastic. They Definitely. Do have the, the nice reclining chairs, all that good stuff. So that's a great place to bring the family. Yep. Hang out. Um, but as far as the neighborhood, Damani itself, uh, schooling wise, Damani Ranch uh, is a four star high school. Yeah. So in the top tier, top five, basically, in all of Reno. Um, and then as far as the middle school goes, that's DePauli. Kendall DePauli, yeah. It is a newer middle school, also ranked one of the best in the area. And then the brand new elementary school in 2019 was Polakadikis. Polakaitis. 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 Pol you tell us. Greek, I think, but yeah. Brand new. Uh, it is a high security, brand new elementary school right in the heart of the uh, Bella Vista Ranch by Toll Brothers. Um, great community, brand new construction over there. If you are interested in that, We'll transition right into real estate. Yeah, so the Damani Ranch area originally was an actual ranch. Yep. All farmland, cattle, all that good stuff. And then as things continue to expand a little bit, um, started seeing more growth and development. It's been consistently growing. Um, but as far as the housing prices go, you're looking at about 400,000 to start up into a little over a million, right? Yeah, so. and that 400,000 will get you uh, potentially a three bedroom, two bath under 1500 square foot. We've seen some two bedroom, two bath, um, but they're very rare. And then like Ryan said, we, you've got Toll Brothers, you've got new construction out here, so you can very easily get over a million dollars quickly. Um, yeah, they're kind of just building all the way up onto the hill, great views. It's and they are just also trying to get approved for more development up top above Damani. It, uh, so it's growing like crazy, but it's a no-brainer. Again, some of the best schools in all of Reno. Um, close proximity to Lake Tahoe. Tahoe. Yeah, so uh, right behind us here, Mount Rose Highway uh, has the Mount Rose Ski Resort, of course. Um, and then it's about a 20 to 25 minute drive uh, to Tahoe. So unless you're out in Verdi, Truckee, that area, um, as far as the Reno uh, area, Washoe, right here that's about as close as you're going to get to to get into tahoe so. definitely yeah last week just hit uh t's rotisserie up there if a uh, great spot if you guys don't know where that's at look that one up um that's a little pro tip um t's was amazing then we hit uh yeah the beach up there brought the little one for the first time there you go uh, might drop a picture in here for you guys just uh we'll see all yeah. depends um and then as far as other proximity we just want to mention that just on the freeway here you're looking at 10 to 15 minutes and then with major traffic which we don't really see too much of about 20 minutes to downtown exactly so uh as, as far as location you got carson city about 20 minutes away downtown reno 10 to 15 so you're right in the center of a bunch of different options 20 minutes to tahoe there's a ton of ways that you can go um yep. but kind of a nice central location even though you're south reno definitely um and then we also wanted to mention wolf run golf yeah we love golf yeah I, yeah yeah we might we might be harping <laughs> too much about golf um but we touched on arrow creek being private um in this video and so we wanted to mention that wolf run is about a five minute drive from super Tomorrow. close yeah five super close great course it is the um golf course for unr 
yeah. men's and women's golf team. It's called Wolf Run. Yeah, go figure. Nevada Wolf Pack. Um, fantastic spot. Reno Ice is right out here as well. Yep. Brand new ice rink. Um, the hiking trails are awesome, right? You guys are, are, we're always talking about, I'm always talking about taking the dogs out. So many different hiking trails um, within a close proximity. The wild horses, um, again, Damani Ranch. The wild Mustangs are still out here. Um, they are pooping in neighborhoods every day. Um, it's actually, it's kind of cool to see some of the horses and, and pretty funny um, as well. But, you know, it's a no brainer why it's so popular out here for families again. So much to do, very family forward and friendly. Yeah, Close bit, proximity to everything. A little bit away from the hustle and bustle of downtown, but it's right there for you if you like it. Otherwise, you're sitting in a great place to, to raise a family, so. Definitely, so if you think this is the spot for you, obviously reach out to us, guys. Um, it's, it's a good area, hey, I like it a lot. I do too, on, on to the next one. On to the next, <laughs> we're out. All right, well, we're on to the next one here. We're out in a park, uh, pretty central here in Collin Ranch beautiful park yeah one of my favorite neighborhoods uh personally so some expansion here they started uh we're right off of the mccarran loop um as far as proximity so the mccarran loop why did they call it the mccarran loop uh mccarran was a famous nevadan airport in vegas is named after him Ooh, um, because so, it loops all the way around the city well yeah but that's well <laughs> You know, the, the loop thing taken for granted there, Joe. I thought you wanted me to go in the history of uh, John McCarran. There we go. Uh, I like it. No, but uh, the, the loop kind of goes all the way through Sparks as well. So it encompasses uh, old Reno Sparks, what the city used to be, and then everything's kind of grown off of that. Yeah, yeah. So um, the original Collin Ranch kind of development there being just on the east side of the loop. Uh, we currently are on the west side over here. Um, in sort of the newer development. But as far as the schools go around here, you're gonna be zoned for Reno High, uh, which is number the, one. The number one. In all of Reno. Academically, so. athletically, um, Reno High takes the cake. So you've got the best high school in all of Reno. You've got the best elementary school. Roy Gom. Roy yeah, Gom Elementary School. Number one, and I, I, I don't quote me on that one. I know it's number one in Reno, but um, like top five in the state, yeah. I believe. It's good. It's pretty high up there. And, uh, then, and we'll shoot, uh, we'll send some B-roll. It's funny because driving by it, like it doesn't really look like it. Yeah. You know, it, it looks like it could, it needs some updating to be honest with you. Yeah. But um, it is, yeah, the best elementary school. Again, um, state ranked could be the best in all of Nevada. Yeah. And then Swope Middle School, also a real great middle school as well. So schooling wise, uh, this is going to be the top area it doesn't um, really get better than this yeah so. again it's going to be a super popular area i know we kind of that's the theme and we keep saying that um but the schools you know obviously bring the families here um so just want to reiterate that yeah and then uh moving on to the actual home prices themselves so there is the west side of colin is newer bigger homes uh i think in a video quite a while ago we may have touched on the fires um we've seen two semi-major fires pretty major fires i guess in the last six yeah. years or so and this last one took out a couple right yeah four homes was, yeah three homes something like, something that. like that but it seems like every couple of years there's a fire that kind of rips through Colin. um the wind can get moving so just, just something that to know but they do because they know that they do a pretty great job of, of protecting homes out here so definitely house prices is too many but it's one of those things where when you see the location and, and what those fires look like you're honestly surprised that it's not 20. yeah so definitely they, they know what they're doing yeah how uh home price median home price we're looking a little bit higher yeah so for the entirety of Collin ranch the median home price around 750,000 right now with the low inventory that we have uh, we're seeing upwards of about 1.2 yeah and that's and that's because too low inventory um, there are some mansions yeah. on the top of Collin Ranch that uh, currently drive one, that up yeah I mean it's beautiful ones uh, 7.75 million over 12,000 square foot um, so obviously that's gonna bring up right that median home price. Yeah. So there's there's currently about 11 homes listed in Collin Ranch, and when one of them seven seven, it, yeah, 
So it takes it up. Yeah, but there's also some uh, kind of smaller family homes as well. Yeah. That so, will be more affordable. So on the east side of that loop there um, is the older Collin Ranch development, if you will. And so those houses, to reiterate, a little bit older, obviously, but uh, pretty amazing still. I yeah. mean, you're looking at five bedrooms, uh, you know, Huge. seven, what, 2,200 square feet, yeah. stuff yeah. like that. Hot tubs, all the all the good stuff. Definitely. So. Um, and the views up here, I know we talked about views before, but the views up in Nipicola Ranch probably are the best in Reno just because you get all of the city views, the mountain views. Uh, Great downtown view. Yeah. So you've got the, yeah, the, the city view, yeah, downtown. So it's awesome. Some of the best views. Um, so what is kinda, there to do? Well, yeah, so proximity, two things. Um, right off of the, the loop there is if you had 10 minutes uh, south on the loop, you're going to run into Great Basin Brewery. It's kind of central Reno there with like Meadowood Mall. There's Trader Joe's is right there. All that sort of stuff. Just a little bit down the road. Need to speed. Go-karts. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Golf, magic carpet. Um, north, you're going to be up towards... Uh, North Reno with your your way out to Verdi, but there's a Walmart up there. There's a great place. Flowing Tide is kind of a local spot that we yeah. love. Yeah. Um, restaurant, bar. So, so you're, you're 10 minutes north, 10 minutes south to a lot of goodies, basically. That's the beauty. There's not a whole lot in Collin Ranch, or I guess there are some kind of smaller ones right here. Yeah, just up on the hill there, there is like, I, I believe it's a Smith's. Yeah. Um, up on the hill, that's kind of the main... Um, kind of shopping for, area for, yeah yeah for your, think, one, your, your you know get in get out yeah anytime fitness is right there as well yeah um as far as amenities go it proximity right it's you're close to uh northwest reno jump to south reno you're kind of right there but uh hiking trails we were just talking about uh what was the name of hunter, creek. hunter creek so there there's hunter lake uh trail hunter creek is the more popular one it's about a three mile uh in and out trail and that one on, on any given day, when it's on a beautiful day like today, um, you're gonna see pretty heavy foot traffic because it's just got amazing views. Definitely, and early, uh, right in the springtime, you've got the waterfall coming yeah. through. Um, so it is beautiful, not that difficult of a hike. I know we've taken our dogs on that one before. It does get pretty busy. That's an awesome one, uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah, we do have the hiking, and then um, as far as heading south on the loop there we always once again touching on golf one of our favorite things to do um there are two public courses right down the way there lake ridge and washoe is our public municipal golf course the Super, the hardest the straightest course you'll ever play yeah, so the front nine is old link style you know back and forth up and down um but i actually played there yesterday just a, a good municipal course yeah and, and lake ridge beautiful course yeah awesome uh is it the what, 14th or 17th? Oh, What's the? Uh, I, th I want to say that is 15. I think 14 or 15. 14 or is 15. Is the picturesque hole. We might be able to include a photo of that for you. It's, yeah. You're hitting onto an island um, with just the absolute best view of, of downtown Reno. Yes. So. It is sweet. If you can hit the island, good on you. If you can hit the island. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, other than that, I mean, Collin Ranch, right? Family friendly, forward. Um, very great spot. If you're wanting to break into it, let us know. Absolutely. I think that's uh, Colin Ranch. Yeah. On to the next. On to the next. We made it. Somerset. Yeah. Out here in uh, Northwest Reno, uh, we are at the Town Center and Country Club. Uh, pretty cool. It's I mean, out towards Verdi, Rolling Hills, all that good stuff. Yeah. It's uh, we are out here a little bit, so you kind of are a little more. Um, excluded, I guess, from some of the amenities closer into town. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of all inclusive, right? Talk about the uh, the town center. Yeah. So spa, resort kind of feel. You know, you've got uh, stuff for all the tots to do just behind us here. Um, your HOA fees right around three hundred a month uh, to like three fifty, and that gives you access to this little water park here for the kiddos. Awesome, um, awesome time for the kids. It's about a 24,000 square foot kind of indoor facility. Uh, they've got a, I think, full-size indoor basketball court. They've got uh, the gym for the fitness um, and whatnot. And a lap pool out here. Yeah, a lap pool on the other side. Here is the Canyon 9 golf course. So as a resident, you have access to this Canyon 9. It's actually going to be private yeah. starting May 1st. Um, and then there's an 18-hole 
um, resort as well that is private and that is an extra membership fee, definitely so. and that yeah that is not included um so just some great amenities here the par three you know kind of does run through the canyon here um which is awesome and, yeah, and just touching on schools then uh we've been kind of getting into that yeah, um, yeah because yeah. it is a family type area so your zone from Another. McLean high school yep. uh which is a four star that's one of the top five again reno galena damani mcqueen is one of the top five yep uh billinghurst middle school is right in the middle uh like seven out of ten kind of ranking there and then uh kind of following the same there are multiple elementary schools uh that you have to choose from out here and those are right in that same range about a three to four star ranking yeah there so and just the the views out here um and we'll have some b-roll kind of coming through but the views out here the rolling hills you've got the sierras um it uh it's beautiful out here yeah um as far as the home pricing goes there um we're looking right around the 750 kind of range um things with low inventory kind of saying the same thing over and over to you it is a seller's market out here right now they kind of describe it with with somerset especially um and so you're seeing lower inventory and the bigger houses kind of skewing that definitely so and again it is there's a 55 and older community out here uh toll brothers is out here building Ryder homes is out here building uh, a couple other builders that are out here and so it's um, a lot of land still a lot of homes to be built yeah um, so new construction um, kind of again our theme we don't really like to say it's about golf um, there's just a lot of golf I think up in northern Nevada um, some of the better neighborhoods the better schools they kind of all fall into that hence why we keep bringing um, these up we're going to show you some other ones but uh, Somerset I mean beautiful uh, course the town yeah. here there's also some cool shops some co coffee shops right up the way I guess we'll just jump right up here and we've shot videos up here before um sushi, sushi spot coffee spot uh, breakfast and stuff like that for the neighborhood and there are some townhomes there aren't anything for sale at the moment um that you can get high threes maybe low fours now obviously all the prices and everything continues to go up um but great proximity to uh Truckee. yeah and so Super we're, close. we're northwest reno here we wanted to touch a little bit just on bird eye so Verde is just down the road. We're still technically Reno here. Yeah. Um, but Verde is expanding a little bit. We don't see that blowing up so much as a Spanish Springs or Damani or anything like that. But they are building out there. So maybe um, an up and coming. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Um, we just checked out some new builds out there by Dr. Horton. Um, a little bit more affordable. Yeah. So Dr. Horton, we touched on that before. You kind of get what what's there. They release what they it. Give you you yeah. like it. You buy it. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, but just want to touch on that because we are right in that range. So um, Somerset, you're kind of rolling this one road all the way out through the community. And just down the road, if you get back towards the freeway there, your one exit's for so. Yeah. And again, Somerset, right there, another claim to fame is their hiking trails yes. around here. I yeah, mean, so it's... I believe they have listed that there's about 27 miles worth of trails out, exactly. out here. Exactly. So. Super safe. I mean, uh, you know, oversized sidewalks just all through these different neighborhoods and so you can kind of see that you're going in and out of these valleys with the views um right we've got the the snow coming over the sierras yeah, right that's now a beautiful view right there while we're getting sunburned so, yeah uh, i think you got it i think we covered it yeah anything else next. no on to the next all right guys we made it to spanish golden springs. spanish springs golden yeah. eagle sports complex yeah so Wingfield Springs, uh, Red Hawk Golf Course, we're kind of all just in that same area. Get out of the wind a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but we are, I mean, as you guys can see, this is only a short part of it. Um, just kind of a, a crown jewel in the area, if you will. Uh, Golden Eagles, 1.4 uh, million square feet. It's the largest single installation turf. Um, project in the entire United States. So, and that is, that is real. Fact that checked up. that. Um, Started, built 2008, um, remodeled in 2013. Mm -hmm. We're standing up here at like sort of the clubhouse. It's a, a restaurant bar up top here that has like an amazing snack bar um, right below us here. But this is all of your good stuff. Uh, we got some guys playing softball, training up right now. But 
which is awesome that these fields, I mean, whether it's youth sports, whether it's yeah. co-ed. And just during, throughout the day, just we're, we just walked up, we're just hanging out, we're in. Uh, you can go hang out, play, practice on these fields. Um, of course, you know, there's there's time frames where you can't be out here. There's I got some things organized, but yeah. for the most part, uh, we're surrounded by f about five softball fields. Um, I play kickball out here. I've done that before. Uh, you've got way out in the back there, soccer fields, lacrosse, football. Football fields. So, some outdoor basketball hoops. Yeah, there's a little pity playground right on the other side here. It's just like, it's a good, fun, just like friendly family environment. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's kind of a staple, not only for like the Wingfield Springs, the Sparks area, um, but for all of Reno. Yeah. And, and it's, it's a and big it's revenue generator. Yeah. What'd you say, 27? 20, yeah, right around $28 million yeah. annually that it brings in for the city. Um, so they did an amazing job on it. Yeah, absolutely. Surrounded by BLM land. So the hiking, we're always touching on it. But again, that's it's all around us. So the hiking trails around here, dogs, mountain biking, um, jump on the dirt bike, things like that. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, what about schools? What are we looking school-wise? So out here, everything kind of just continues to expand. So uh, right now, Spanish Springs is the main high school. Um, as far as we've been giving you kind of the rankings, uh, pretty middle of the road yeah. as far as the high schools go, right in that like 7 to 10 range. But it's going to be better, um, the best rank. It's better than Sparks High, better than Hug. So it is a, a better high school for the area out yes. here. Um, just compared to some of the other ones. Not as good. Yeah, just not quite as good as Galena or some of those that are attached yeah. to, to the Montrose Reno, and Arrow Creeks. Um, so... That being said, though, we anticipate there's just been so much growth and development. Spanish Springs is probably the the most uh, developed, currently developed Definitely. area. Yeah, it kind of seems like we ran out of room in Reno, and so the only place to continue to grow is heading north, heading into North Sparks, Spanish Springs area. A Pyramid Highway, up Sparks Boulevard. Definitely. So touch it. Yeah, touching on real estate, um, I do have investors that are reaching out that uh, I'm directing them to this area because of the growth, because of everything that's going on, um, that we're kind of projecting um, Spanish Springs to be the next South Reno, right? Yeah, so kind to of similar extent. to Damani and how Damani expanded, you know, started small and then continued to blow up. They ran out of room there. They're still developing, but it's kind of the end of it down there. Yeah. There's so much room up here that continues to grow. So, yeah, we see it as a great investment property for sure, just in general. Yeah. I, we've had friends that have bought out here kind of at the very beginnings of things and flipped a house three years later and made well. $100,000. So. Good, great. And there's still uh, some new construction out here as well that you can kind of get into cheaper. Um, but that also being said, we've got um, – a couple two amazing golf courses yeah red so, hot golf course so you can start you know so we we're talking about some of the town homes that are up and around here in the, the 350 type range yep yep and then there's a hills and lakes course um out at red hawk and so on those areas a lot of the time you will see you know million dollar plus homes Definitely. so along that hills course too just absolutely beautiful yeah and they kind of are few and far they don't come up all the time um, but some being right on the course, right, going to go for quite a bit more, you know, high eights um, into a million dollars plus. It really kind of all depends. Then there's some, again, uh, mansion-esque, 5,000 plus square foot, amazing views, you know, everything yeah. that you want that's, that, that, that's multi-million. Sort of that's sort of the, the beauty of Spanish Springs, too, is that as it continues to develop, you've got areas that are you know a good sized home but you have that land you know you have room for the rv you have room for your boat whatever it may be um as you go out towards pyramid lake you know great, yeah great lake to, to boat and hang out on you definitely know, camp day whatever. trip camp whatever yeah, fish um and then you also have some of the places that can be a little bit tighter um but they have a price point for everything so yep um i do like that a lot about this area and then proximity you are a little bit further out from from reno if you're you're looking at that main hub if you're looking at downtown um, we're probably what 20 minutes from downtown right now. Yeah, as, yeah, yeah. And this and is a little bit further out. It is, and it is pretty deep. And the the big issue too that we have out here is kind of the traffic, right? That we have Sparks Boulevard, you have Vista, and you have Pyramid Highway. So mainly the three, yeah, three that run up. Um, and so you can kind of get bottlenecked a little bit. We've touched on this before. Sometimes the traffic uh, sucks. You know, it, it is a little bit worse out here. Your dollar goes a little bit farther out here. Absolutely. Uh, the fiance and I and uh, the family, we were looking out here for a while. Uh, just you can uh, get a little bit, you know, more room, a little bit bigger of a home for what you're going to pay for in South Reno. Like it's 
it's really night and day. Yeah. Um, you know, when you compare the two. But uh, for fun, what do we... What are we doing I mean, this, here? of course, we, yeah. we touched on that to begin with, but this really is, uh, we're probably not even doing it justice. Like, it really is a spectacular area. Um, any given night, there's there's some intramural league going on, softball, whatever. It gets super competitive out here, but then they also have a B league, you know, they have a for fun league. Just hang out, come play kickball with your buddies kind of thing. Again, and it doesn't always have to be about the kids, right? There's yeah. A big, yeah. Yeah. And so... That's a little bit of an aspect that we, you know, we kind of want to add some fun for the parents there because, you know, Joe and I, we're always talking golf. So, Red Hawk, amazing golf courses. Sure, two Love courses, them. great. They're they're public. They're not private. Yep. Um, and then they also have a uh, full-service, um, I know, gym. Bar and grill. Yeah, bar and grill. David's. Gym there as well, too, so you're not too far out from there. Um, and then in the Sparks, right, you've got uh, Coconut Bowl. Yeah. So we For actually just, we just had lunch across the street there. It took us what fifteen minutes to get out here. If that, yeah. And we yeah, were yeah. sitting at BJ's Kitty Corner do the coconut bowl, which is I mean, I went there with my buddies the other night after yeah, yeah, a yeah. little steak dinner. We played <laughs> yes. some mini golf, but they got two outdoor mini golf courses, one indoor, laser tag, um go kart in, indoor black light go karts. Yeah. Um, a water park, you know, with all the as big a slides as you probably want. Yeah. And then right there we have shields. Yep. So Shields uh, and Galaxy Legends. Galaxy Theater, um, yeah. IMAX Theater. Uh, the new Jump Place, so there was a bar there, formerly Cadillac Ranch, that had some bowling lanes. They converted that into one of those kind of jump bounce house places that I have heard just phenomenal things about, yep. actually. So Axe that might throwing. Be, yeah, that might be next after my, my next date dinner, if I'm not too full. There we go. Trying to hit the bounce, the bounce place, but um, yeah, Axe, like you said, Axe throwing. I mean, so there's tons of stuff to do there. Shields actually... Uh, this probably does not hold up anymore when we're talking statistically, but they have one of the largest indoor uh, Ferris wheels oh, yeah, yeah. In, in the country as well. So that's good um, stuff. tons of stuff in the area. Um, good family fun out here. And like I said, this for me personally is I'm a you know baseball guy. I just love to try and stay active. And so uh, can't beat it. Just like we're talking about, right? Got the guys out hitting balls right now. Just trying to stay young. That's all they're doing. Yeah. But there you have it. We've got Wingfield Springs, kind of Spanish, Spanish Springs, Springs a little bit. Um, you know, if you are looking for new construction, it's out here. If you're looking for a pre-built, if you're looking for a townhome, um, let us know. Or that premier golf, you know, luxury living that really, we got it all out yeah. here. You just got to reach out, text, call, email, all that good stuff. Amen. On to the next. All right, here we go. We have brought you guys to North Valley's Splash Pad. Yeah. Right? This is one of the cool little features. It's uh, the Reno Air Races are out at the Reno Stead Airport. Um, not world famous, I wouldn't say, but uh, people from California, Oregon, all that sort of stuff always come down for that. Definitely the old airplane theme. Um, yeah. yeah. Sure if you're getting the greatest view right now, uh, they definitely have it secured up. It's opening Memorial Day weekend. I believe you said it was closed during COVID for... Yeah, yeah. Um, they shut it down during COVID. So Memorial weekend. Um, look for this to open back up. Obviously, great time with the kids. Yeah. Um, very inexpensive. I think it's just $4 for the admission. Um, and then they also have some pavilions, too, that you can rent uh, inside the area as well. Uh, again, I don't know how good our view is, but it's a great spot. I mean, we've... We're in this we're in spring right now and we're getting smashed by the sun like yeah. we're gonna be mid 70s yeah, right absolutely. now so once this thing opens it's gonna be super popular um, and a good time but again we are in the north valleys we're kind of encompassing lemon valley north valleys panther valley cold springs is a little bit further up 395 there um but those are we get a lot of questions about this area uh, yeah things are super affordable up here definitely so when encompassing uh, the Reno Sparks area and, and just this area as well, just being a little bit north of 15 to 20 minutes to uh, to downtown Reno. Um, we get a lot of questions because people are like, wow, that house looks awesome. Why Definitely. are we not yeah, yeah, yeah. talking about that? Um, and I, as you can see, I mean, I'll just give you some views. We still got some very pretty areas. Yeah. Um, Snow capped, it's what, 74 today? Exactly. Here's a good, a better view, I guess, of the little playground outside as well the community center uh they've got all the soccer fields just beyond that soccer yeah. baseball all that stuff for the kids so definitely and then uh so as and we've talked about north valleys panther Valley. we've talked about um these areas 
quite a bit in a lot of our videos. So, so school-wise, we North Valley's high school out here. In this video, we've mentioned uh, McQueen, Reno, Galena. North Valley's is on the lower end of the schools that we've mentioned in this particular video. That being said, with the expanded growth here in the region, it's like night and day. Definitely. So, the, the schools, from what they were 10 years ago, yeah. are improving drastically. Um, you know, the growth continues out here. They're building so much. And it's the same thing we kind of mentioned with Spanish Springs. It's like, as as more people have moved out that way, the more money that's come in taxpayer-wise, obviously, the more improvements that are made. And they're starting to see that out here with North Valleys as well. Exactly. Um, just the ride that we took in, the backside, tons of new apartments out here. All of this is relatively new. Townhomes. Yeah. Um, yeah, just quite a few builders, too, that uh, are developing land out here because there's so much more land out here to develop. Yeah, and so that is one of the beauties of living out here is you've, you've got more land with your house. So yeah, yeah. Uh, some of the stuff we were seeing, you know, down in Damani, it's gonna be a little bit more on top of each other, a little bit closer. Out here, you're seeing uh, more of the bigger yards, um, bigger, more land, uh, horses. You definitely, know, yeah, chickens, and there's, it's, sort of there's definitely a lot more rural property out here. So if you are looking for some rooms, some horses, uh, yeah, you need to have that little chicken coop. Yeah. Uh, whatever it may be, there, uh, I mean, the land is endless. I feel like it's out here connected to BLM. So I know jumping and ripping on the, the dirt bikes, the side by sides, yeah. the outdoors. Um, so cool. We kind of touched on schools a little bit. And that was really the only downside as to why um, we kind of give it a lower grade yeah. than the rest. Um, but they are improving. And as far as affordability goes, Real estate wise, I mean, we're seeing we can still find something in the mid threes that was probably built in the 2000s, 1500 square foot um, in a development, you know, nicer area. Yeah. Um, that's why it's so 1500, appealing. 1500 square feet on a, a third of an acre versus, yes. you know, yeah. so it's, um, um, which is a lot more appealing to people, which is great. Um, new construction wise, I mean, we're looking at under five, 500,000 for 75, yeah, something, yeah, or under, yeah, under 500,000, like high fours. Um, for a four bedroom, three bath, like 2,500 square foot. Yeah. Um, so definitely if, more bang for your buck. Exactly. Um, and, and, it, and it might not be, I mean, if school, schools aren't a priority for everybody and I'm not saying, you know, maybe it's just cause you don't have kids and yeah. that's why it's not a priority. So this could be the, the perfect spot for you. Um, and then moving even further North into stead, which is closer to that California border. Uh, again, real estate is going to be even more affordable out there. Uh, my fiance and I were actually, um, uh, we look at we looked at houses out there all the time because if it just wasn't so far north, uh, the houses are newer, they're bigger, yeah. everything that we wanted besides the location. Yeah, um, and then so just going into some of the the things that we do like about this area. Of course, we're we, we're featuring the splash park right now. I really do think this is such a cool little space. Um, you don't see that in too many smaller areas, if you will, that have their own little water park. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, we mentioned the Reno Air Races. Obviously, that's a one-time weekend event. Yeah. Um, but it does bring people from all around. Uh, I've probably been to that four or five times in my life just living up here. Yeah, that's personally. a popular one. And um, then, of course, we're always talking golf. Uh, Sierra Sage, right off of Stead there, Stead Boulevard, Sierra Sage Golf Course, a great little desert link style golf course. And then uh, one of my favorite aspects of that place is they feature the sort of like scooter uh, surfboard type golf cart. So you actually strap your golf uh, bag to the front and you cruise around sideways on a little scooter as opposed to just sitting in the golf cart. So I've, I've yet to do that. Uh, it yeah, sounds like trying. a blast. We'll, it get sounds, we'll get you out there. Yeah, it sounds dangerous <laughs> a little bit. Well, you know, <laughs> depends on if you're golfing or drinking, but yeah. Um, so. I do remember um, the one time there was actually a pretty big crash, right, at the air races? There was, yeah. That was, uh, like, a horrific accident where they ended up cl crashing pretty close to, uh, the, stands to the stands and, there. Yeah. And I so, was actually, the one time I've ever played at Sierra Sage was playing out there that day. Um, we, we finished up, right? We were just seeing the planes, you know, buzzing by around, all yeah. day, and it was a blast. We tried to get tickets. We couldn't. We're driving back into town, and all of a sudden we just see – the police cars and the ambulances and everything right going out that yeah. way and then we got to actually the reno aces stadium and then saw right on the news kind of what happened so that was 
Um, just a crazy experience. Sorry for sharing that. One. That was a little, yeah, a little dark. But yeah. uh, well, I mean, it's public knowledge. It's, yeah, we all know about it. It's it was a terrible accident, but it's kind of one of those things similar to uh, there are air races, so it's yeah. kind of similar to going to a NASCAR race or something. And Definitely, and it is it is a great time. I mean, uh, for the kids and everybody, you know, you get super close. Um, you know, you get to meet some of the pilots and yeah. see some of the planes when they're um, landed and and kind of uh, just hanging on the ground, but kind of what else were we going to talk about to do out here uh proximity to um so kind of different areas quincy you were saying yeah so uh we're closer to 395 we mentioned cold springs earlier cold springs is pretty close to the border the, the california yeah. nevada border um but he had mentioned lake almanor um Beautiful. one of my yeah. favorite places is gray eagle um yeah I, yep. I, once again you know harping on the golf thing but we there's five great courses out there um, and Grizzly I, Ranch out there. Grizzly Ranch, uh, the Dragon at Nacoma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Which are some of the probably the best golf courses in oh, the area. Yeah. yeah, amazing. Deer We're out on the course, ridiculous. all that sort of stuff. So, um, I try to head out there at least once or twice a year. Uh, there's a barn there that a lot of my friends have actually been married at. Right on. Um, and so. it's beautiful. It's you completely are removed from the desert. You're in the pine trees. You're in the mountains. Yeah, you're from this spot you're probably about 45 minutes to that and it feels night and day different from just climate just, exactly yeah everything i so. like to change me i like that we're hyping up the north valleys area yeah. um i definitely could yeah see myself here but if you are looking for a little you know something a little bit more affordable uh, north valleys might be the spot or even just want the land i mean exactly I've, I, my girlfriend absolutely loves the idea of having chickens and goats and all that sort of stuff yeah. one day and this is kind of the place to do it so definitely uh, yeah so if you want more information on the north valleys lemon valley uh, kind of stead area call us text us email us because it uh, might just be the perfect spot for you ryan chick bar bringing us to old southwest old midtown. southwest yeah. midtown area uh, my favorite spot yeah my favorite spot for so many different reasons um kind of came through uh just one of the neighborhoods in here and you can just tell it's kind of got a little bit of like pacific northwest vibes uh old school neighborhoods just without the all the rain all the time you know so just an awesome spot um is why we love it so much and you know the architecture each home is just different that uh you get out of that cookie cutter feel yeah, you got the old brick. You've got some of the like Pueblo style houses, um, some of just like the the renovated look of like a a seventies house, and some homes that are still needing renovations, right? Yeah. Some some kind of older homes that uh, have yet to be updated, which is awesome. But the main reason why we love it so much is just the close proximity. Yeah. So proximity to uh, downtown, midtown. Um, just the different fun things that we'll go into a little bit, but then kind of we've been following this template, if you will, a little bit about schooling. Um, so we're down the road um, quite a ways, but uh, still zoned for uh, Reno High, which we mentioned in Collin Ranch. Uh, the number one high school Reno in Reno. High is ranked number one. Uh, so we're zoned for that, as well as Swope well, Middle School, which is also real good. And then we are not zoned anymore for... Uh, Roy Gom, which is one of the, the better uh, elementary schools, but it's a, a slight trade-off um, to basically the second best elementary school. Yep, so. yep. So school-wise, again, um, another reason why we love the area, you still have the best high school. You still have one of the best middle schools and elementary schools on top of the close proximity to the best restaurants, bars, shops, kind of inter entertainment. Um, but you are far enough removed to where... I don't really feel like, you know, I'm downtown. No, not at all. In the, I mean, we're, we've been out in this area kind of walking around a little bit for the last 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. And traffic wise, just we've quiet. seen about two cars. Yeah. There's so. a lot of one way streets too. So it does help cut back on that, um, which is nice. And I just going to turn right back around. Yeah. Um, but it, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It's a good vibe. Um, but, uh, what what are some of your favorite spots in the Midtown area? So Midtown is booming right now. They just did an entire reconstruction project of seventy uh, million. Seventy million. Yeah. yeah. So sidewalk infrastructure, 
kind of got the parking situation figured out. Yeah. And then there's just tons of new businesses that are going in there. So widen um, roads, put the bike paths in there, the walking path. It's yeah. so much easier. So there's a spot, Poco Ono, I believe it's called, a Hawaiian, um, kind of like a little bit of a pokey feel, but also yeah. um, they've got like some curry, different. So it's, it's kind of an Asian fusion restaurant. Uh, Finn Bomb's a good sushi spot there in the middle. Two Chicks is great for great breakfast. Great breakfast. That homegrown uh, gastro pub. Yeah, that's uh, crazy. It's kind of next to Shay's, which is like a one of our classic like dive bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's got like, it's a cool feel in there. Um, but right next door to that same ownership group and everything um, is like $25 like farm to table exactly. plates that are just amazing the so, burgers are great the yeah. pizzas are fantastic um all craft cocktails too so it uh you know it doesn't just stop with food drinks are fantastic typically local beers um on draft as well i and feel then, like yeah, we're missing so. i feel like we're missing so much oh like i mean and, and we're still close to downtown well, that's, yeah, that's kind of the beauty of Midtown, downtown, and Reno being the biggest little city, as we have mentioned all thought. the time, that you're about a half a mile from downtown to Midtown. So Still a walk. Yeah. Easy right walk. Right now, a day like today, I've got no problem going one to the other yeah. with, you know, beer here, half a mile walk, walk it off a little bit. Yeah, grab some On to the lunch. next one. So. Definitely. And then downtown, obviously, we have Reno Axe Bar, real cool spot. You can throw axes. The Reno Aces Stadium isn't too far away. Yeah, that's another couple blocks. Um, and then we've got the Truckee River. I mean, I don't know if you could throw a rock, but I could probably throw a rock to the Truckee from here. <laughs> Down my arm now. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so we're, we're real close, especially right where we're walking, um, just down to Wingfield Park, um, which has an amphitheater um, that during the summer, there's all sorts of concerts, uh, movies in the park. Definitely. Um, and we are kind of talking about like the co-op too. Yeah. So um, that's just right around the corner as well. Grocery store wise, there's Idlewild Park, which is right on the river. Um, they do a food truck every Friday. Just a great kind of family to get out. Yeah. So yeah. I, food, I, drinks, live entertainment. Uh, just a lot of fun. Yeah. And Idlewild is also a perfect place if you're looking to um, float in the river. It's kind of a huge thing that people do. Yeah. 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 You know, um, get on a couple tubes and ride them from some people start a little bit further up around Mayberry um, kind of where we were at yesterday near Collin that gives you about an hour float maybe but you can start at Idlewild if you're looking for just a quick half hour just fun, a blast fun weekend yeah just a lot of fun just a lot you know especially when the weather like we said is nice we're in like mid 70s today uh, it's beautiful but I did want to show you just kind of this yeah. brick right kind of all and it looks like they're doing some some remodeling at the moment, but right, yeah, just, just up and down, just beautiful locations just awesome. and housing. And, um, and then kind of just going into that, we have been doing, obviously we're here for you. To yes. just do the market analysis, all that stuff, give it to you right away so you don't have to go searching. Uh, most of the stuff that we're seeing in here as far as single family residences are right around that 650. Yeah, like minimum 650. And that's probably gonna be more of like a, a fixer a little bit. Yeah, uh, we have seen uh, just because this area is so coveted, um, some places that are selling just five fifty and it's a knockdown. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Two bedroom, one bath, like under a thousand square foot. But, but it's because it's just there's so much potential here. Um, I mean, across the street, that's a great one to get right there. I mean, that's uh, those houses, just fantastic, old school. Just sweet. And so, yeah, there, there are definitely houses in this area, though, that we, we've looked up to. There's right off the of California there, um, there's a house for $14 million. Yeah, so it overlooks, obviously, the Truckee River, city views, some of yeah. the best views. And that thing's like, you know, over 10,000 square foot. Yeah, so, it's an absolute mansion. So It is huge. There are um, also quite a few multifamily uh, properties kind of in the area as well that uh, are, are pretty cool investment-wise. Um, kind of awesome. Their own separate entrances. But in this area, here's a sweet, yeah, another re cool one right here. Remodel. Um, you just don't know what you're gonna get. Yeah, right next door to a classic old school building, yeah. and right across the street, totally modern. Right. And so, it really is just what we love. We and the mature that. landscaping too, right? You've got, uh, and that's just stuff you can't buy. That's this yeah, neighborhood's I mean, been we're here. Right now, 
Joe just mentioned, we're just getting into the swing of things spring-wise, and uh, it's kind of funny because you get that we're a desert from a lot of people, you know, like what's it look like? And we were just out in North Valleys, and that is kind of the desert yeah, yeah, aspect yeah. of things. But if you're up on the hill overlooking midsummer, this is green, green, green. Definitely, so. and it doesn't feel. I mean, we're I feel pretty outside of the desert. It doesn't have that desert feel whatsoever. Not at all. Um, so yeah, real estate wise, it is a little bit more expensive. Uh, they're few and far, but the properties again, the best schools um, in the area. In my opinion, the most character out of all the um, properties kind of even in Reno, your close proximity to everything, um, it's hard not to fall in love. And so when you guys do come here, reach out to us because we love taking clients um, and people just through here to show them the different areas. Yeah, this of, for uh, me is kind of what Reno really feels like in a sense. You know, I've had friends that have grown up in here and it's just a different vibe from those uh, like Joe keeps saying, that cookie cutter kind of feel. Yeah. So this is just like... Not a development whatsoever. Yeah. Um, and everyone's super friendly that we've already ran into here. You know, people outside saying hi, doing yard work, things like that. So... Yeah, we're turning down requests for, you know, people to be featured in videos right yes. now. Just... Yes, yes. <laughs> we'll take lemonade though, because yeah. it's hot. Jeez yeah. Louise. Um, so if you guys think this is the spot, um, reach out to us, right? Call us, text us, email us. We love to show you around, um, and that's why we're putting out all these videos. So, again, I don't even think, I think this is the last one. I don't think we're yeah, on to the next. I don't think we're on to the next one. I think this is where we're wrapping it up for you, but um, there's so many hidden pockets in Reno, so we kind of just wanted to feature the ones that we get a lot of questions about. Yeah. Um, but, man, we could shoot three videos like this with more neighborhoods. So. Definitely. Um, so, reach out to us, guys. Call us, text, email. Um, we're here for you. We're moving to Reno, Nevada.